Hello and welcome back to the channel, I'm Relics, and today we are going to continue our Fire Emblem Path of Radiance Hard Mode Iron Man run with Chapter 17, Daybreaks. Alright, so if you guys have, are familiar with Fire Emblem, you guys know that this will be an interesting chapter. It is a four part chapter that takes part over four different locations in the same area. And yeah, I wanted to keep this one as its own video just because it is a special kind of chapter. Venetius Hall. Is that it? Wait, there's more. It seems that Prince Rayson was able to escape Duke Canis's villa and make his way safely to Serenus Forest. However, we have word that Tannis' men are, have entered the forest in hopes of recapturing the prince. We've not a moment to waste. Please, O King of Hawks, reach out your mighty talons, strike down these wretched humans, and rescue Prince Rayson. I implore you, Your Majesty, take wing at once. Why is Nesala not here? That, uh, His Highness might not be seen here at this time. It's... What's going on, you old buzzard? King Kelvis is the White Prince's friend, isn't he? Well, how do I put this? Hmm, it's all very complicated. I care not for excuses. If anything happens to Rayson, blood will be spilled. Oh no, please. There's no cause for worry. Duke Tannis treats his works, uh, works of art with delicacy so extreme that it could be called abnormal. He would never let any harm befall Prince Rayson. He probably can't even bring himself to touch him. The king himself told me so. That is the only reason he accepted this proposal. Proposal? Uh, what I mean is, uh... Hold it, you crows set the prince up, set up, set up, no, 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 not exactly, um, please don't hurt me. Well, so that's the truth of it, eh? They saw tra treated Rayson like a piece of merchandise and sold him to a human. No, that's, the only one who, who referred to him as merchandise was Duke Tennis. We never, it doesn't matter. Claiming ignorance does not grant you innocence. You treated Rayson like a trinket in a public market. Oh dear. If Rayson had escaped on his own, perhaps the Crow King would have rescued him when things cooled down. Regardless, Rayson trusted in his friend and followed him into the trap. The Naysala spit on that friendship. That I cannot forgive. Your assessment of this old bird is correct. I am a worm. Nothing more. Please, I beg of you. Temper your outrage. Let it cool. You're unbelievable. What is, this what is it with you crows anyways? Everything you do is so dirty and deceptive. You will never understand your ways. Do you hear me, Ray Wings? I hear you well, young hawk, but our nation, our nation has its own issues. Please, this is not the time to yell at a tired old man. You must hurry to Prince Rayson's side. Once he is safe, you can punish me in any way you see fit. Tear me limb from limb if you wish, but please go to Prince Rayson, I beg of you. This, be this begging is unseemly and unwanted. We would rescue Rayson regardless of this pathetic show of tears. Return to Kelvis and report these events to your cursed king. Tell him that when this is over, King King Tabarn of Phoenicius will be paying him a visit. Yes, your highness. <sighs> I know he deserves it, but I still feel bad for badgering the old coot. Your majesty, what will we do now? Okay, use your ears to pick up the sound of racing the wings, and then tell me the direction from which it comes. At once. Janet, use your eyes to peer between the trees and find me a road. A road. <laughs> you got it. Human scum. If you think... To replay, to replay the night from 20 years ago, you'll get no quarter from me. That's why he says that. Um, find me a road. You guys are not finding a road, you're just flying. So just said, find me a path. Which also wouldn't make sense, because you're flying. Anyways. Hmm. Is that you, Soren? You're up early. Actually, I'm always awake at this time. Really? Yes, you're the one who's up earlier than normal. I want to finish our mission today. I think I'm nervous... I think my nervous energy woke me up. I understand. The last two days spent searching Serena's forest for that heron must have been frustrating and fruitless. I'm sure he's in there somewhere, though. But I agree, and Duke Tannis' men are still hunting away. They must think the heron is in there as well. The only place left in the forest is heart. The only place left is the forest's heart. That's where we should go today. With luck, we may finally locate our target. I get the feeling it's going to be a long day. That's like the hint hint, right? So we got 25k gold. Uh, MVP from the last one was Oscar just because he probably uh, hit the most stuff. Not necessarily because he killed anything. Supports. Anyone supporting? I don't really think so. Nothing, Jill.
I guess I could do Mist and Void, right? Because you're not... Yeah, they're not really doing anything else, so... Sure, why not? Mist and Void. Yeah! Yeah! Rah! Phew, that was enough for today. I just don't feel into it. Maybe I'll take a quick nap. Done already, Void? Huh? Yeah! Oh, Titania, I didn't see you there. I'm training so hard that... Huh? <laughs> who the... Mist? Oh, what a jerk. Hey, you're the one who tried to blow off training. If you keep ignoring your drills, I'm going to become a bit better missionary than you. Better than me? Haha, <laughs> dream on, kid. You got some nerve saying that to me. Kid, you better remember who my father is. Fighting ability runs in the blood, you know. Ah, oh, that's a bunch of hue. Survival on a battlefield depends on experience and luck. Nothing more. If you dive into battle with a conceited attitude, you'll end up dead no matter what blood is in your veins. Gee, sorry, boy. I was just joking. Hey, don't look so angry. This is no game. We fight for... We don't fight for fun. Now get out of here. I mean it. You're in my way. Sorry. Miss, wait. Ah, heck. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> and we're not. Nothing. Oh. Well, look what the cat dragged in. It's you again. Jill. My name is Jill. Fine, Jill. What brings you here today? More stupid questions? I've been thinking about things, and I haven't been able to figure it out. See, in DM, we were taught that you attack humans indiscriminately and without mercy. That you are just savage animals. The goo's attacking humans? Ugh, what garbage. We just like even the company of humans. I want nothing to do with them. Even mauling you would be unpleasant. But in Dane, everyone believes that to be the truth. That's why... That's why I never questioned it. But when I saw you fight beside Ike and the other humans in the South Sea, I knew that something was wrong. You were so different from what I imagined. Ever since I was young, they filled my heart, my head with tales of your terrible claws and teeth. But you stand on two legs and you talk. And you even make sh jokes. Sometimes, you're much closer to us than a beast. So glad to hear it. I wonder why humans and subhumans started fighting in the first place. Maybe we were just destined for war. Well, I don't know much about that. It's not for me to say that the goddess made us a certain way or, or if we're just two races that don't like each other very much. But I know that Galio, Phoenicius, and Kilvis all have a reason to hate humans. What reason? Are you serious? I take it humans aren't interested in passing history down to their children. Typical. Alright, centuries ago when Benyon was still a monarchy, the only countries were Benyon and Goldea. Godeo as, as, was as it is today, a reclusive nation inhabited only by dragon tribes. And the other Lugus lived in Banyan with the subhumans, or with the humans. Humans and subhumans used to live together in Banyan? I had no idea. A human was named as the first king, although Lugus' superior strength led us to rule more often than not. Despite the harmony that most felt about this arrangement, the senators wanted nothing to do with it. In the name of the Apostle, they claimed that only a human could be the true ruler of Benyon, and started a civil war. Like blind, rolling kittens, the Lagoos kings underestimated the situation. We never had a chance. Caught by surprise, my brothers suffered defeat, and defeat after defeat in the face of superior human weapons and magic. That was the start of a long, dark days. The start of Lagoos slavery. After nearly 200 years, a small number of enslaved Lagoos managed to escape their human captors in Benyon. The beast tribes fled to the mountains and unexplored forest areas, places where humans loathe to tread. The bird tribes, on the other hand, escaped to the distant southern islands. This is how our Lagoos kingdoms began. It took another 80 years in the blood of many uh, brother Lagoos until we were formally recognized as nations. This is why we fight, why we hate. Humans don't want former slaves to have countries and be treated as equals. Lagoos carry the, sh the shame of the past deep in their hearts and struggle still for the freedom that you take for granted. This is the true history of Tellius. No wonder humans would bury it. I don't know what, what to say. Idiot! Think. Think about what I have said. Think about what you have seen with your eyes and heard with your ears. If you don't even have the guts to do that, never show, your, never show yourself in my presence again. Um, alright. Poor Jill. She got yelled at. <laughs> she got yelled at. Servant! Commander Ike, a priest from Duke Tannis' villa, insists on speaking with you. Yes, what is it? Um, Master Mercenary, it is my understanding that you pr pursued Duke Tannis. I hear that you're searching Serenus Force in hopes of capturing him. And if I am. Duke Tannis' property, bo uh, property borders the forest and he knows much about his layout. 
For quite some time now, he's been sending men into the forest to look for any Herons who may still live there. I see, so you're saying that his troops know the forest well. I, I too have been taken into the forest. You? Why take a priest? He thought that Herons would make themselves known if a priest called to them. He's also taken dozens of chast maidens and tried to, tried having them call to the Herons as well. But he didn't find any, did he? No, and yet this time, the, the joy he expressed after paying such an exorbitant price for the Serenist Ceren Royal was abhorrent. It was not natural. The Duke has gone mad to think that he would dare to defy the Apostle. He is damned. And here you stand. You're going to tell me that what you remember about the forest, even though it means you're betraying Tannis, right? Hmm. You read me too. You mean me well. You read me well. To begin with, the heart of the forest was divided into three large sections, maybe more. It was nearly colorless and difficult to see far. The muddy floor po uh, pulled at our feet, and progress was slow. Many of the soldiers around me were afraid that they didn't bring enough supplies. They said a person would need them if they get lost, because getting out again would be no easy task. What can you tell me about Duke Tannis's forces? There were a lot of them. He had soldiers of every type. It was said that his mounted units and magic users were especially powerful. So at the very least, you should be prepared to deal with those two groups. Thank you. My parents, they both participated in the Serenus Massacre. They're nearing the ends of their lives, but even now they they, uh, they lie awake, awake at night and beg the gods for forgiveness. I became a priest in order to help my parents, but then I was assigned to work at Duke Tannis's villa. I knew of his terrible deeds, but his position as an imperial senator frightened me. I may have been silent for too long. Master Mercenary, you must rescue the Serenus youth. I beg of you. May the goddess guide your hand. Don't worry. I have no intention of letting that villain steal him from before my very eyes. So again, that's just some little background information for what we're going to experience in the next chapter. Ah, a lot of dialogue. My goodness, we already spent 12 minutes speaking. Here you are. We've been in Banyan for a while now, so tell me something. Why are you still here? Are you pretending to be our friend so you can la lance us in the back? You have to understand. I didn't know anything. I was born and raised in the Taurega region of Dan. It's a very remote area. My father was a soldier, and I grew up that thinking that I, too, would one day be a soldier. A soldier to make my father proud. My life was simple. I questioned nothing, doubted nothing. Do you know the first thing we were taught in day in schools? Subhumans are evil. Subhumans are the enemy. Subhumans must be eradicated. The army stages periodic subhuman hunts. We'd find refugees from Benyon hiding in our mountains and forests. You participated? You don't get it. That's just how things are in Dane. No one taught me the word lagoos. No one taught me the, that subhumans could be, could be like this. No one cared. When I saw the bird tribes at sea, I was convinced that the teachings were true. They were inhuman monsters. But later, I saw the dragons push your ship off the reef, and it confused me. What if I had been raised to believe? What if I had been raised to believe a lie? My heart pounded at the thought of it, and my doubts only grew with time. So you decided to remain aboard to, or in order to ascertain the truth. That's your true motive, isn't it? How did you know? I've, I've known a lot of soldiers, and none would ever accept charity from an enemy. It would wound their pride. You obviously had pride to spare, so I knew there was some other factor at play. Oh. Well, you reached a conclusion? What will you do? I want to stay here. At first, I thought I could protect my old life, that I could prove the subhumans were monsters. But I was wrong, and now things are different. The sub I'm sorry, the Lagoos, I want to know the truth about them, and I need, to, I need to base that on what I see, not what I am told by others. In that case, you can stay as long as you like. I appreciate it. I think meeting all of you was a very good thing. The Dawn. La 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 la. Hmm. Oh my god, this is all singing. I've never read this before. Um, hey there, you have a minute. Oh, Captain, how are you today? It's Commander, not Captain. Well, you seem to be enjoying yourself. That's because the garden is so pretty. Dev down loves all plants and flowers. How about you, Commander? They're all right, I suppose. That makes Dev Don really sad. All right is not a very, all right is not a very strong feeling. It is boring. You should be more emotional, Commander. Even things you're used to will show something new if you look hard enough. Discoveries are exciting. That's what life is all about. At least that's what Dev Don thinks. Some disagree, and that makes Dev Don upset. You may be onto something. In Crimea, when my father was still alive, I think I was more open to such things. But now, I just don't have the time. 
Honestly, all I can think about is defeating Dan. I have no energy left to spend on flowers. If you talk like that, you'll never defeat Dan. What did you say? The war is new. If you are already f so focused on preparations, you are out before the fighting begins. Hold on a minute. That was kind of a boring conversation. Uh, I don't think we have many skills to give. Honestly, this game doesn't really require us to give too many skills. It's just that easy. Per se. <laughs> um, I don't think I need to do EXP either. Uh, we do need to get Ike to level 20 because by the end of chapter 17, he will transform. Um, and I probably should do it in the next couple chapters because the last two parts... Or, couple chapters. The last... The first two parts, Ike is free to move all around and do stuff. The last two parts, Ike will be carrying somebody, so he needs to... He won't be able to fight as efficiently or at all. It's only two levels and 34 EXP, or yeah, 34 EXP, so it's not like I need it a lot, but we'll see. So like I said last time in the last video, Marcia is done. Uh, she had that one blank level to finish off, and that's disappointing, honestly. Even if I transform her now, it's just not even going to look that great. Uh, she's still too weak, so I'm going to fortunately drop her. Um, Kieran's level 18. I'm actually surprised. I don't have a paladin. I don't have a paladin yet. That's actually kind of funny. Uh, Kieran and Oscar are right there, but they're not there yet. So, we gotta get him uh, to level up fast. Um, Jill, too, is also not transformed yet. Level's been a little lackluster the past couple chapters, but hopefully she levels up good. Obviously, Astrid's leveling up fantastically. Need more strength and defense overall. However, you know, her speed and skill is excellent. And then even Volk is leveling up very well. That's amazing. Alright, so I guess we don't need to do bonus XP. Uh, I'm going to do some outfitting and then I will resume the video in a moment. Okay guys, I'm back. So, um, I did all my outfitting. I'm ready for the chapter. Uh, something I've also come to realize is I don't really have that many characters left. We take a look at Ike, Boyd, Soren, Lethe, Kieran, Miss, Oscar, Jill, Astra, that's and Titania. That's technically 11 characters now that I'm dropping Marcia. Um, that's actually a small army. So, I was also looking at my skills that I do have, and honestly, Soren with Vantage is probably the only best viable skill right now. So I am going to give him Vantage. And then, I mean, heck, I, I could give him Miracle too if I wanted to, but I'll wait on that. Otherwise, everyone else doesn't really need skills or can't get skills. For example, I can't get his his Aether skill, so there's no point in doing that. Um, yeah, everyone else is still unpromoted as well, so I gotta just kind of wait. Uh, overall, a couple changes around for the bands, but not too many. And uh, obviously, I outfitted my characters with majority of their weapons. I switched them out for new ones or ones with higher durability, because this is going to be a long one. If I do need more, I obviously could bring in more characters. For example, I could bring Mordecai in with some extra weapons or whatever, right? Um, I do not have another dagger for Volk, which sucks, but I have Sult's extra knife, which is nice. Um, overall, though, we're good. So I gave Kieran a bow, Oscar a bow, for when they transform into paladins, so they can use lance and bow, axe and bow. I gave Jill her uh, iron axe, just in case she needs it for when she transforms. And I also gave her the full guard as well. She's now my only flyer, so therefore she will be the only one who could benefit from it. Um, yeah, overall that's pretty much it. So, we'll see how this goes. There really isn't much else I can do. Saren is forced. I believe this is the place where we ended our search yesterday. I realized something a couple of days ago. Even in the forest, you always knew exactly where you are, don't you? Hmm? How do you do that? I think it's the lack of color, but these woods are starting to look the same to me. Yes, that's a problem. Ike, we're approaching a large clearing. I think we should have the apostle and some of the others wait here. 
Good idea. Even if we find the Heron today, there's no need for them to tramp through the forest with us. Hmm. We're going to head deeper into the forest and continue the search. Please wait here. If we find the Heron, we'll send for you immediately. I understand, my lord Ike. Everyone, please be careful. We're counting on you. Sigrun, Tanith, may I entrust the princess to your care? Of course. You, you've no need to worry. We will protect her with our lives. Very well. Until later. Serenus Force. We already know that. We're already here. <laughs> All right, Grail mercenaries, move out. Gah, you, you haven't, haven't you fools found my precious little bird yet? I have no doubt the poor thing is even now quivering with loneliness and cold. Duke Tannis, we just received word that the mercenaries who invaded your villa are in this forest. Blast, old wretches, they're here to steal my bird. Their souls will are blacked with greed and jealousy. I have found beauty incarnate, and I will not relinquish it. Only I, Duke Tannis, can appreciate its worth. Um, I'm sure that's true, Your Grace, but what about the mercenaries? Should we, what should we do about them? Hunt them down like dogs. No, let none of them leave this force alive. They will not rob me of my prize. But Your Grace, they serve at the pleasure of the Apostle herself. Striking them would be... Leave the Apostle to me. I can deal with her once this is finished. All I need from you is silence and obedience. Is that clear? Uh, yes, Your Grace. I beg your pardon. Bum, bum, bum. There they are. Do as Duke Oliver commanded. Slay them where they stand. Let none leave the forest alive. Not, not man, woman, or child. Oh, not the Duke's soldiers again. I think it's about time we put an end to these fools. Listen up, everyone. Let's end this here. Alright. Drop Marcia. Put in Astrid. So it doesn't look like we can take everybody from the get-go. So that's actually fine. Um, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I'll leave Titanic out since she's already uh, promoted. Not to mention she's probably one of my weaker characters at this point. Or will be. So we'll go with this crew. If I need reinforcements to bring weapons, they can do that. Uh, we do need to be careful because we do get reinforcements behind us. I do believe that's in every chapter too. So, what do we got? One of them had a long sword? No. Okay, so Oscar can take that right side. Um, Jill too can help out. And then everyone else can just kind of move around. We need Kieran to go left as well. Alright, so we'll just move out if we see fit. That'll be good for now. Alright, let's finally start this. What are we are? 23 minutes in? Let's go. <laughs> That's a lot of dialogue. Let's go. Alright, let's start with this guy. So we'll form a wall here. So you go right there. The guy actually can't reach us. So we'll just take this a little slow. Like I said, we do need Ike to level up, so I will use him here. Because only first two parts he can actually get training in. Alright, let's do that. I can't double. That's how bad my Ike is. Usually my Ike would be doubling these guys. And I'm poisoned. <laughs> but training for a miss, I guess. Now 
extra level up. Strength, luck, and skill. Awesome. Seriously. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll have a bulk kill this guy. Oh, he can't. So it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll use Sorn. Skill, speed, and luck. Okay. Again, not increasing the defense. I would like him to increase some defense because honestly, 11 is just not enough. He may have a lot of HP, but man, he's squishy. <laughs> and we got reinforcements. What do these guys got? I think one of them had a long sword. Someone had a long sword, right? No, just a killing edge. Okay. Hey, can you kill these guys? No, you suck. Oh my god, you are so bad. Why is my Ike so bad? He was, he was so good in the beginning. What you missing again? Come on, Ike. You can do it. HP, skill, luck, resistance. Four stat level, just not the stats I wanted. Uh, need the strength and defense. Considering I have the night ban on. My goodness. Can you double. Nope. Of course you can't. Characters are lacking the speed department, that's for sure. Jill, level up good, yeah? Thank you. 
perfect level. HP, strength, speed, defense. Exactly what I want from her. Excellent. Um, if we attack here, this won't end up good for us. So, I'll just... Ooh. Do you have something to steal? No. Okay. So I'll just wait there. Should attack Ike or Volk, which is the best situation. Uh, boy, can you just take care of that archer for me? Thank you. Oh, the night moves up. Okay. Just saw that coming. <laughs> Do I kill him? I don't. Perfect. Get carrying the kill. suck. Oh, look, a fighter on the right. Oh, mercenary too. An iron blade. Okay. Double, huh? All right. I do not kill that guy. So Ike will be fine to take on the Iron Blade, or at least he should be, right? Just in case, though, I will have him get healed by Soren. So yeah, you can't kill the guy, so that's actually fine. Okay, we'll lure him out. expecting that. I only do two damage? My god. These knights are hella durable, right? Alright, we'll just do this. Karen, let's go. Everyone's been okay so far. One skill. Wow, that's sad. It's so sad. Perfect. Good dodge.
here and never misses. Let's go. I should have got Ice level 20 sooner than this, but oh well. Yeah, just make do. Alright, let's see. Um, guess I'll just heal Ike. <laughs> Oscar level 20, let's go! Wow! That is the second blank level up. Can you believe that? Level 6 and level 20. Can you believe that? Oscar, two blank level ups. This guy is supposedly one of the best characters in this game. My god, are you kidding me? That's a freaking joke? That is a freaking joke, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> what the hell? Two blank level ups in this run. That's just my bad luck coming out, right? I've always had bad luck. Okay. Can't kill him, really? Just so you can die, it's fine. Nothing else is in range, ouch. Look at that, 46 hit range still hit. Kieran's amazing. I'm burning. Ouch. <laughs> Taking a beating. That was a killer lance. 36 crit. He had a 20 crit on me, actually. Right? Yeah, he had a 20 crit. I could have lost Boyd right there. 
Oh, oh my goodness. That would have been really bad. Right. I think I have a couple of vulnerabilities I could steal. Uh, let's see. Oh, that guy has thunder. I don't have any characters that have a lot of luck. But I know Soren can. Thank you, Soren. Alright. Can we possibly get this boss kill? I'm just curious. Three. We need to bring him down to three HP. <laughs> or something like that. Okay. Um, wow. This guy's pretty strong. You missed, Oscar. You missed. Uh, this guy's a little bit stronger than I thought he would be. Alright. Sixteen. Excellent level again. Another sh piece of strength. I love it. I absolutely love that. Oh, okay. Jill killed him. Oops. <laughs> Magic. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Alright, first chapter done. Not bad, 20 minutes. Curses! They just keep coming! How many soldiers does he have? There's no telling. He's a bishop and a senator. He holds peerage and that means he can command many men. Perhaps we too should call in a few reinforcements. What do you think? That's not a bad idea. And while we wait, we could take a breather and reorganize our attack strategy. Let's do it. Alright, first part done. Hot King is now here. What was that sound? I heard something too. It came from the northeast. It's unlike anything I've ever heard. To the northeast? Ah, there are ruins over there. Perhaps the White Prince found them to be a good hiding place. Let's check it out. Maybe we can find him and escape while the humans fight amongst themselves. What are those humans thinking? Why would they be trying to lop each other's heads off? Shall I make an inquiry? Leave them. They're nothing but trouble. I second that. Now if we want to avoid the human skirmish, we should head that away. Clear these trees. Let's go. Yes, sir. Alright, let's figure out where to go next. Brother! What is it, miss? Just now, did you hear a sound? Huh? No, nothing special. Really? I guess it was just me then. That sound you heard, was it high-pitched like a chiming of a bell? Ah, yes, it was. That's exactly. I didn't hear a thing. It created only a slight disturbance in the air. It could only be heard by those possessed of extraordinary hearing, so your sister's hearing is on par with that of the Lagoos. Wow, did you hear that? Neat! Don't let it go to your head. A sound that Bjork can't hear. Hmm, that's interesting. It is said that those of the Huron clan can pr are, uh, are all pr uh, practitioners of s seed magic. Perhaps the sound is related to that. Seed magic? What's that? It involves arcane songs known as Galdur. The effects of the Galder all listen depend on the lyrics and melody. For example, a Galder can restore lost strength and vitality to those who hear it. And if the singer is of royal blood, the Galder might uh, be power enough to move its listener to extraordinary feats. I've even heard tales of Galder that could give one the speed to do work of two men. The Galder, Galder can grant many powers, powers. Wow, that sounds incredible, doesn't it, Ike? Yeah, but even with all that power, they would still wipe out. They were still wiped out by the Bjork. Right. Herons are highly attuned to the forces of balance. Even if they had the means to resist, I doubt they would even use them. We leave as soon as our reinforcements arrive. Duke Tanis must not succeed. Let's just see the Heron while there's still time. Alright. We should head towards the ruins in the northeast. I sense something odd there. Got it. Thanks for the information. 
It is nothing. It is only natural to aid one's companions. I couldn't agree more. Cursed humans, how dare they defile this, this forest again? I will brook their savagery no more. The forest whisper, whispered earlier, but I must drag these wretches out before I can speak to it further. I will go to the altar, and I will give voice to the forbidden magic and destroy the humans utterly. Alright. Uh, technically speaking, I don't really need reinforcements, to be honest. Maybe we'll just wait on that for now. <laughs> Because honestly, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We can't reposition either. There they are, the Crimean mercenaries. Surround them. They must all die. So this time we got some extra forces. You can see in the background there's some paladins. Uh, now they got mounted units and wyverns. Listen, everyone, we must make our way to the ruins in the northeast. Fight if you must, but keep up. Understood. So this one, I think our objective is to arrive, right? Yeah, our objective is just to arrive at this square, but we are still going to kill everybody because we want the EXP. Um, surely I can take on a couple of these guys, right? He'll do at least 12 damage, or 10 damage. Yeah, he should be fine. Ike, I'm expecting you to do this by yourself. Over here, Boyd and or Boyd, Oscar and Kieran will take care of these guys. I don't care who they attack; doesn't really matter. I think reinforcements spawn here too, so I gotta be careful of that. I didn't steal one of those vulneries. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> it's not like I need vulneries anyways. But this chapter, this uh, this part, um, there are some priests around so I can steal their staves. I think one of them might have a physic too. Okay, level 19, yep. One more level. Wish you got strength. Like one of these kills can actually go to Volk too. Yeah, so this one has the physics staff, this one has just a men. So yeah, we can steal that physics staff, that'd be great. Knife. <laughs> Overkill. Volk level 17. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Ike, you're taking a beating. <laughs> Miss level up. Where is the magic? What the heck? I mean, I'm glad you got defense and speed, but you have the mage band on. Where's the magic? What the hell is her growth rate? I don't even know. I can't believe she can't get it. That's so bizarre. Uh, boy, can you chip this guy down for me? No, you just destroy him. Okay. Uh, these guys have archery. Paladin has a short spear. I don't think he can kill Astrid though, so that should be fine. I missed. Interesting. I didn't give Oscar a javelin, I gave him just the bow. Uh, 
pretty funny. Okay. HP. Oh no, they're double anyways. That's fine. Perfect. Look at that dodge. I guess the only bad part is he stayed on that side. Oh well. That's okay. Oh, that was my steel axe. Huh. Astrid levels fast, we still need her to get her bow training up. So while she's weak, that's probably the best time to do it, to be honest. Speed luck. Kieran, you're supposed to be my best guy right now. Why are you loving so bad? Alright, a couple more kills and Oscar will transfer. Yeah, trans uh, change classes. Uh, I don't know if reinforcements come. They should, if I remember correctly. So I should be fine right there for now. We'll just wait. Oh, I, I didn't heal with mess. Gotta heal every turn. Owie. Strength three levels in a row. That's just amazing. Look at that. Max speed, just like that. I can't get everyone else level like her. Alright, um, we'll give Oscar the Paladin kill, and then, or the Cavalier kill, and then Kieran the Paladin.
All right, cool. I do think reinforcements do come, so I'm gonna still wait. But it doesn't look like it, so maybe we'll just move up. Let's move up this way. the priest move considering they didn't try to heal it's funny all right so we do watch out. We need to watch out for this guy He's a little tiny strong a little tiny strong a little bit strong how strong is he Ooh, does about half damage so yeah we definitely want to watch out uh oscar if you kill this guy do you get do you transform have him get hit this turn. That should level him up. Just in case I miscalculate some kind of movement somehow. I don't want this dying on me. Alright, this guy. Cannot die. Okay. Uh, can you chip him down? No, you just destroy him. Why does Ike suck? Alright, fine. That's it. I'll just I'll let him attack me. Oh no, he has a javelin. Oh, that sucks. Alright, fine. I have to attack him first. You dodge twice. Ooh, painful. All right, Oscar transformation. Let's go. Finally, he's a paladin. Oh my god, it's such a disappointment. So, level 1 Paladin Oscar. Honestly, didn't turn out too bad. Um, could have been better, obviously. <laughs> Two blank levels definitely doesn't help. But, uh, you know, it's not too bad. Let's see, we need to kill this Paladin. Can Karen possibly do it by himself? I don't even know. No, because I can't double, so I do need help. Um, that's 16, that's 7 HP. I did what? Seven perfectly, so actually that's actually perfect. Let's do that. 
that should level, I think, maybe get Karen close to leveling. A little closer. These soldiers would be like that. Um, just kill this guy. Get me out of my face. Because he has a javelin. That way, uh, Miss can actually go in the corner. And she'll be safe. guys won't be a big issue as well. In fact, I should just kill the soldier. Oh, wow. Didn't hold back. Mm, that's fine. Just use iron. I'll probably just get sore on the kill. Ow. Cannot kill anybody with Kieran. That's unfortunate. So let's just do this. We'll take this guy out. The ranged guys shouldn't want to be... Should go after Kieran because they don't want to be attacked and retaliate. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that guy's scary. I gotta kill that guy. Alright, so we'll attack that guy with Astrid and Jill. Next thing you know, he hits us and that kills us. That would be really bad. Stealing. Uh, Ike, I need you to kill this dude. She should be able to dodge all of them if they attack her. <laughs> the priest moved up, that's funny. That 
priest wants to die. It's not a physic right here. So I definitely need to get in there. Dang, my boy's so strong, he just destroys him. Okay. Chippy chippy. Comparison too. Um, here's Karen, and here's Oscar. So Oscar has three more HP and two more strength and two more magic. Same skill, same speed. Karen has one more luck, one more defense, and Oscar has three more resistance. So overall, Oscar actually ended up being better than Karen. That's kind of surprising, to be honest. That means my Kieran started leveling really bad <laughs> towards the end. Because he was doing pretty good. Wow, that's sad to see. Oh well. Right, I'm just going to have Boyd kill this guy. And then Jill and, Miss, or Jill and uh, Astrid can work on the last Cavalier. And that will pretty much be it. And before long, we will get Astrid to transform as well. And Joe. Okay, cool. And that's pretty much it. So we just need to steal the staves. And Rick needs to kill that archer. Uh, if I actually attack him like this, with my slim sword, I will get two attacks in. I wonder if my next attack will kill him. Or uh, level me. It might. Maybe I should just let him shoot at me for now. You steal. Uh, my inventory is full. Great. Okay. Um, everyone's inventory is kind of full. <laughs> Honestly, I don't need both men's staff. I'm just gonna go kill this priest. I didn't use this, goddammit. I keep remembering to do that. Where's he going? that level. Incredible. Come back. I just want to kill you. I don't want to use my javelin here. 
I think this should level me. <laughs> it does. Okay, perfect. Level 28. There we go. Strength and magic. Wow, this is a sad Ike. Obviously, it's not the worst, but man, he is squishy. He will die to Ashenard if we don't do better. Which is why I saved my stat boosters to the end, because you never know when you need them. That's pretty sad to see. Very disappointed in my life. Alright, we'll kill this guy. Level up, level 20. HP! Yay! I love bad levels. <laughs> oh, level 20 Jill. Arguably one of the best characters in the game. And yet, her stats are so low. Uh, without a doubt, one of the worst Jills I've ever had. Woo! We finally made it! Let's split up and search for the surrounding area. Ike, what do you think of, the call of calling in more reinforcements? The Duke's army seems nearly limitless, and I'm worried about a weapon situation. Let's do it. Although we're pretty good on weapons, we've been sharing around the kills and, you know, working together as a team. Hey, what's this? What is it, Ike? Look here. This is the only place in these ruins where I've seen healthy grass uh, growing. You're right. And I found this. A white feather? Of course. So this is where... Where what? This way. Come with me. What now? Nasir, what have you... A heron. Um, that's a girl. Monsieur, you said the male heron we met was the only surviving member of the race. I believed it to be true. To find another survivor, it's a miracle. Hey, wait, please. I must speak. Come on, wake up! She's lost consciousness. I guess there's nothing I can do but wait for her to come around. I wasn't trying to frighten her. Oh ho ho! I found you at last, my beautiful treasure! It's about time you showed your bloated face, Duke Tannis. Oh! Oh no, make no mistake about it. That is a spectacular work of art I paid so much to obtain. You still claim ownership, do you? No, wait. Something's different. This is... a female? You mean to tell me that another lives? How spectacular! Man, bring me that hair on. But do her no harm. You'll never have her. Again? Will this uh, corpulent windbag never learn? Form up, troops. We must protect the hair on. I like how we just come out of nowhere. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much good. I, sorry, Titania, I guess you don't, you're not really needed. But I'll bring her anyways. Um, not necessarily Mordecai, though. He could still come in later. Okay. Uh, yeah, so start, because we can't uh, reposition our units. Alright, so we're in a tight bind here, so we just need to kind of clear out this north side first, and then make our way south eventually. Ooh, man, that guy hits hard. Oh, really? Dang, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Soaring level up. Speed resistance. Wow. I love two saddles. 
These guys can't reach me. Okay, cool. Um, we need to kill some of these soldiers here. Perfect kill. One shot. That's fine. Oh, I'm poisoned. <laughs> that's healing for this. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Volk can kill this guy. Even if I get hit, I have Miss to heal. And the mage can't kill Miss, so that's okay. Dodged anyway, so that's good. Good job, Volk. And then this top guy... I actually can't get to him with Kieran. Um, wait. Was that out of range? Yeah, I'm out of range. Completely. Can I show? No, I can't. Okay. So we're probably going to have to use left AI. Level. How that really matter? Uh, Kieran, you can kill this guy, yeah? Not a one shot. That's okay. Ah. Alright, we are safe. There's the magic, finally. My goodness. Right. Uh, let's see how range of the mage, Ike. Jill, you can not fight that, because there's thunder magic down there. Don't want you dying. Honestly, if they wanted to attack Jill, that's totally fine by me. they didn't attack Boyd considering that I think he's less resistant. Alright, so more reinforcements are coming. Oh, the same. Interesting. Uh, we can steal this priest's men as well. Something I will get on in a moment. <clears throat> oh, Astrid wanted the kill. Cool. Totally fine. training my bows. I don't know what I'm thinking. Like this. If Ike wasn't uh, leveled up already, look, you could punch the priest to death. <laughs> we got thunders. Yeah, we love 
thunders. Oh god. Oh! I have a full guard. And I have enough luck that I, they, I don't get crit, so that's actually pretty good. Yay, Jill's actually doing good. Uh, that's fine, you know, here. Sit there and kill him. <laughs> that's perfect. More reinforcements. Looks like I'm just in time. Now that I'm here, the enemy does not stand a chance. Okay. Uh, I can actually probably. No, you know, I need my javelin. I need my javelin for later, so I'll just retreat and get healed first. this guy to death, I guess. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Stab him. Look at all the enemies. Especially mages. That's the scary part. Because there's a thunder, there's an L fire. Oh my god. I'm just chipping down for somebody else. Why not? Specifically, I guess, Jill. And I level up anyways. Strength again! What was that? Five straight levels, right? Crazy. Alright, one more kill and Joe will transform. It's perfect. This mage is in range of us. So that's actually fine too. So we do want to kill them as they come at us. Alright, cool, cool. I do believe there will be reinforcements on our left side as well. So we need to watch out for them. So I can go right there. We should be good like that. That mage is now no longer in range because that fighter moved up. What the heck? <laughs> no, that's an elf fire. We need to kill that. That's strong. Why would you do that? Because now this guy who has thunder is a little scary. But we have enough luck, actually. Or actually, okay. It's not as scary as I thought. Uh, we got lances. Let's go. You kill that one. Kill, so let's um, Soren use thunder. If 
fact, Astrid and Volk can probably take out the other one. One dagger to attack this guy. <laughs> Volk level up. Another great level. There we go. Maxed out his skill. Which is kind of funny because usually thieves max out their speed. He has a lot of strength, so that's really good. I'm actually very happy about that. Okay. Um, wow, this guy's just in the way, isn't he? Get out of my face. So Tina could probably chip this guy down a little bit for Jill, and then she will kill and transform. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're getting all of our second classes in this course. Here's my level 1 Wyvern Lord Jill. Again, the strength, skill, speed, and defense should all have been higher. But that's okay. Um, she's still very useful. She is my only flyer right now, anyways. Um, she can use axes now, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. We can attack. Oh my god. The fire damage. Put this guy. Don't want to deal with this guy, so let's kill him first. The only guy who can hit and miss would be that one. Because these guys can't walk through, right? Oh, he can. Ooh, it's actually bad. Okay. 15 resistance, 2 L fire, 19 attack. I'll live. I, could, I got physic, I could just stay away. each other. So the mages can't kill me. Yay! Man, I'm not poisoned anymore. One HP short. Wow, that's it. What's your bonus? You have plus one attack. Hmm. 
Astrid, can you help chip this guy down? No, you just kill him. Alright, whatever. Just kill him. Use up your iron bow as well. Perfect usage. Look, now all the mages will die because we can attack from range. They're not that scary. Never mind, he can move back. <laughs> I knew that. Okay, guess that doesn't matter. Heal everybody. Alright, uh, this guy's running like I thought. Kieran's first level. Let's go. Please be good. Skill speed. My god, he, he has the worst levels in this force. That's crazy. Oscar's first level, how, how coincidental that they got on the same same turn. Skill, speed, defense, resistance. Oh my god, Oscar, you're turning out to be better than I originally hoped. It's crazy. Boy, crit, overkill. And I need bulk over here, since he can steal some stuff, I think. Maybe not. I thought that there was stuff to steal, but I guess there isn't. Another kill for Astrid. 
Unintentionally. Look at that, level 19? 20? 20. Strength! Again! That's what? Six levels in a row! That's... Or five levels in a row! That's crazy! Look! One soldier! <laughs> one soldier! She maxed out her speed, by the way, at level 20. Perfect! Look at this! Look at this, Astrid! Absolutely amazing! Puts Oscar and, uh... Puts Oscar and, uh... Kieran to shame. Uh, kill. You can chip him down. Perfect. And then Ashley can get the kill. And then on the next chapter, on, or the next part, unless uh, another reinforcement arrives. This is a survive, after all. Uh, Astrid will transform into a paladin. Just have everyone stay here, I guess. Boy, you can stay here as well. My new pallies will go and kill everything for us. How much magic do you have? 20 attack. So I'll be 11. That's good. I should be fine. No one likes Oscar. Always gotta attack Oscar. Nice dodge. Perfect kill. Got an L fire. Two soldiers and two mages. Okay. Oh man, Joe not uh, holding back. One shot. Oh, he's not holding back. My goodness. Just murder these guys, huh? This one. There you go, Astrid. Ooh, four EXP short. So I have steel lance. Good level. Alright, 
Even though it's kind of a waste, Astrid gets the final kill so she can transform and be a paladin. Yay! Oh! That's okay. I didn't mean to choose swords this time, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. How much defense do these guys have? 15. Look at that. They all have 15 defense. That's amazing. My ash is so good. Look at that. Beautiful. Kill the priest. And we killed everybody on the field. Perfect. Ah, what vexed wretches. Uh, I am overmatched. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... There's another white heron! Retreat! Leave them their prize! Okay, he just walks right next to Kieran and Oscar. Get him, you two! <laughs> Blast! Duke Tannis has escaped! Ike, perhaps trying to fight with that heron on your back is not the wisest of ideas. Why don't we take her to the Apostle before moving on? We finally got Duke Tannis on the run. I don't intend to stop until we've captured or killed that monster. I understand, but shouldn't we at least let someone else carry the hair on? Truth be told, she's unbelievably light. I barely know she's there. Is that so? I think she weighs, oh, I'd say, half as much as Miss. Wow, I'm surprised. I'll bet you are. What are you grinning about, Boyd? Oh, nothing. I'm just amazed. Did you know you, you're two times heavier than she is? I'm glad I don't have to carry you around. It'd be like wearing an extra suit of armor. You pig, you're the worst. Oh, wow, oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Alright, maybe I exaggerated a bit, but she's still lighter than you. Well, what do you expect? She's a bird. That's pretty fun. I haven't watched, I haven't read all of this in a long time. That was actually surprising to see Miss. She, she didn't just shove him, she smited him across that field. Commander, if this battle goes on, is going to continue, I think we should get more reinforcements. All right. I wonder if Titania said to get reinforcements because I brought her in instead of uh, Nasir who has been saying it. Interesting. Avoiding those human scum cost me time, but I've almost made it to the altar. Rayson, are you well? Tabar, how did you... Nearly she told us everything. Oh, allow me to apologize. I left my own without a word to you, and this is what happened. As long as you're unharmed, all is well. Let's go home. Please, give me, a, give me a little time. I cannot allow these humans to remain in my force. I understand how you feel, but we're completely outnumbered. Let us wait for another day. Once I stand at the altar, I can take care of them. Every one of them. You can't mean... Are you thinking of using the forbidden magic? Yes, I will sing those monsters the dirge of ruin. Are you mad? You mustn't. I can't allow it. With permission or without, I do what I must. It is retribution for genocide, retribution for this force. Raisin, you must not let yourself be ruled by despair. Each member of the Heron tribe is an embodiment of balance. Do this and you warp your very existence. That's what they said. They all said. My family. My tribe. And then, they died. The humans were drunk with joy and la they laughed, they sang, and then they slaughtered us like livestock. My mother, my brother, my elder sister, even my infant sister, Leanne, all killed in a single night. Raisin, I know this is... I know, I know, this is... This thing I intend to do brings dishonor to my house, and yet I cannot forgive. And their past actions weren't enough, now they violate the sanctity of the forest without a trace of regret. Accursed humans, I will never forgive them. Don't you think we... 
Don't you think we understand that? That's right. Prince Raisin, there's no need for you to reject your honor based on the likes of them. The tragedy of those of the horrors, the horrors and the or the herons, and the horror of the pain of that night lives on in all of us. Let's turn let's return to Phoenicia's and think of a plan. You are right. This will not stand. The full power of the Hawk Nation is behind you. The humans will pay. As you wish. Enough already. Lay down your arms and surrender. We will let you live. Urgh, no, never. I'm never giving up. I'm not finished yet. Out of my way, penniless wretches. Your very existence is an insult to all that is beautiful. And all you really want is my wealth and beauty. Miserable curs, you reek of poverty and envy. Oh, but I understand your emotions. Yes, I do. How could you set... How could you sad magmons not want to be me? That's the last thing in the world. Silence! I am not one to be daunted by means of beggars such as you. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. In the name of the goddess, I, Oliver, Duke of Tannis, will smite your hideous evil. Um... To arms! To arms! Defend me with all your strength you possess. And oh, bring me the little bird that blue haired thou is carrying while you're at it. Oh, please. And now we can see the reinforcements. This will be our toughest battle yet. Here they come. Comment information, everyone. Alright, I don't think I'll need reinforcements, but... Uh, let's see. Someone, I think someone was running out of weapons. Oh, Astrid was running out of bows. So I will bring Mordecai. Heck, I'll even bring Rom. Just in case I need extra bows. And I might need the extra hands as well. So, let's see. I need a bow. Um, oh, the only bow I got is the killer bow. <laughs> I don't think I need anything else. How oh, my axes? I'm good on that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's all I need. Chosen right? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna actually take a small restroom break and I'll be right back. Alright. Let's resume. We got a new drink as well. Let's fight. Player phase. Let's go. Alright, so this chapter, or this part of the chapter, uh, there's this meteor guy. Uh, not exactly fast or anything like that, but the meteor will hurt for sure, and Ike is a frightened target, uh, having lost half his speed. So, it was his dodge. 33 dodge right now. He can still get hit by 60% hit rate, so we definitely want to send Jill over there as soon as possible to deal with him. I have a ward staff, so I should actually ward up. Alright, there. So now I can go in with my javelin, and this mage won't pose too much of a threat to me. And then uh, everyone else can form a line, because we need to survive this wave of enemies. <coughs> Excuse me. I have someone over here. So you get bonuses from Ike. But they are range as well. I just gotta wait and see who everyone gets attacked because uh, there's gonna be a lot of units coming in. Alright, let's see how this works. Even with the ward staff giving me extra resistance, I still took 7 damage from that hellfire. That's crazy. Look at all of them. Oh my god, that's a lot of units. 
and they hit hard too. One EXP for a level up. Good level, my goodness. Still no defense though. Look out, Boyd. Oh, he heard me. <laughs> I didn't double? Oh my goodness. This level 17 Pegasus Knight is better than my Marcia. That's how bad she was. My goodness. That's crazy. Okay, uh... If I go on the other side, I'm gonna get attacked by everybody. This is why I have usually Marcia and Jill, because uh, one can kill this guy, the soldier, get him out of the way, and then the other can kill the mage. But that's not the way things go this time. Um, I will be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. I don't need to heal. I'm just gonna go in and kill the mage. Oh wait, I could probably fly back. Oh, yeah, I can fly in this spot. Never mind. Yeah, I'm all good. That's all good. So he has 10 HP. Can you kill him, Volk? Perfect. Excellent work. Her. Kill her. Because it's all girls. Alright. We need to kill these people. Perfect kill. Don't get hit. Yeah, nice dodge. barely weak enough to not kill him. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Kill that one. Probably should have healed first, because now I'm a little bit too forward. Um, now these guys don't have enough movement, so we are still fine to heal. I want to save my physics for later, right? I, by chance, put this. I can. <laughs> of course he missed. Of course you missed. My god. I should not have trusted that. I had a feeling I was going to miss and it did. will help get the kill, if not kill the Myrmidon. See, this is where Titania really falls off. She's just too weak compared to the other Paladins. Oh well. Do you tech boy? Yeah, you do. Okay, so we do need to trade and pull out your axe. There we go. Some of the units are still going to go backwards for Jill, which sucks. I'd rather have them go right, but that's alright. In a way, it's a little bit safer. That way, they don't overrun me entirely, because as we can see, I'm not going to be able to kill all of these guys right away. Nice crit. Level up for Jill. First level as Wyvern Lord. Nice. Good job. Uh oh. They're still going at it over here. Shall we go around? 
I suppose so. Two human armies bashing another one another's brains out. I wonder what they're after. Ah. There's that sound again. Racing, are you doing that? No, I suppose not. The forest is whispering something. King Tamar, Racing, look, there. Huh? Huh? The blue-haired human is carrying something on his back. No, it can't be. Is that another heron? But that's not... I think some of the humans might be fighting to protect the heron. Hmm. It's against my nature, but we shall aid them. Janet. Oki, to me. Right, yes sir. Tomorrow, please allow me to go with you. If you forswear the forbidden magic, you may come. Agreed. Oh, okay, he's coming this way. Well, that helps take care of the mage. That's nice. <laughs> Look at Oki just run right up to their faces. The Bjork who hunt this forest will answer to me. Or hurt, hurt this forest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I'll join the fray directly. Cool. Alright, where's Astrid? This. Alright, cool. We're gonna have some reinforcements come from behind us, so I definitely need to take care of these guys as soon as possible. Of course, seeing as how weak I am, this may be an issue. Pretty strong, and they they have cancer, so they can move back and forth. <coughs> See, I can sustain the back. Self killed now. guys um, 22 16 okay so these guys can actually do damage right three damage not bad um, only one I need to worry about is the general but he's not that bad at either so I could attack why not start doing damage with Jill they're probably just going to attack Oki anyways so I could probably just sit here I got hit. <laughs> Ooh, 
14 with a hand axe, my goodness. Ouch. Look at Oki just attracting all the soldiers. Janet, can you kill the mage? I don't know if you can reach. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8? I oh, don't know. Please tell me you can reach the mage. Yes! Because I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> As Jill, I don't want to deal with magic, so that's perfect. I'm taking out one of the weaker cavaliers. That's fine by me. Prefer if you hit the knight, but that's okay. Now that Oki's transformed, he won't die. At least he shouldn't. Alright. What can we do? Can you assist me? No, you actually just killed a guy. Wow. That's actually kind of shocking. That's okay. Um, anything to steal? Nope, not really. Everyone's transformed, right? Yeah. Okay, so I, we're all our second classes now, so actually I could just start using Storm as much as I want because everyone is now their second class. No one needs the extra EXP. Full level, right? Oh, only 50 XP. Or 60. Bam! Still increasing that strength. Love it! She probably gets you a kill. Well, not that I'm really using her, but kind of would be nice. She's going to be trans soon, so might as well. <coughs> All right, uh, my paladins can now just march up to the enemy. Boy, we'll take care of this guy. Jill, um, none of these guys are hit, right? Except for that one. Let's kill him. Killing the priest. My goodness, Janet, you're useless. <laughs> Killing the priest. How could you? <clears throat> I believe Oliver drops his 
magic tome, so we do want to get the kill. He had to kill the general. No, that's good exp. <laughs> Yeah, he drops in his frogs, so we need to kill him. Hopefully not these guys. Perfect kill. And it's a level as well. Three stats, well, that. Not the best. Attack and move back. That's actually fine. Um, can I get healed first, actually? <clears throat> My ring. Just in range. Perfect. I know he's gonna die to the birds, but might as well get some hits in, right? I just let myself in range, that's pretty stupid. Uh, you move aside. So we're about to fit some more cavalry members. Alright. Look at the soldier, he's so brave. Go hit me. Ouch! Janif should probably be detransing soon. Probably. Oh no! Does that mean Oki's gonna attack him? Oh, he's gonna attack the general. Reinforcements. I actually don't remember the reinforcements here. But that works out nicely because we get some extra EXP. Too weak, oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> I'm too weak to kill these guys. I'll just attack this guy then. Um, over here, we've got some reinforcements to take care of. Oh. What? 
Dang. Okay. Can you double this one, perhaps? No. No, you cannot. Okay, fine. We'll just kill this one then. Uh, he can shoot on that day, I guess. While Volk just slowly kills them, I guess. Alright. Um, unless we can kill him. We can. Unless he hits me, he probably will, actually. I could just kill him right now, though. I think that's actually the play here. Listen to me, you boards. You cannot possibly understand the pursuit of beauty. Oh, he won't attack me because I can retaliate. You are savages. You are a blight on the world and you must die. This was pretty stupid because now that he's not going to attack me. And the birds can probably just kill him. Oh, well. It is what it is, I guess. Jason, no. <laughs> Race and withdraw. Leave the rest to us. Do you understand? I do get him back, right? Because <laughs> that wasn't my fault. Somehow miss. Somehow miss. Aww. <laughs> At least we get all of her kill. That's good. Sure we can. Fourteen. I'll leave with four. Perfect. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. All right, so unless I miss, that would suck if I missed. Oh my God, Oscar missed. You suck, Oscar. What the hell? The slim lance you missed. Oh my goodness. All right, Jill, let's get the kill. Oh, uh, I cannot fall here. It cannot be such a loss to beauty. Spoiler alert, he's actually alive. Oh, one HP to finish. My goodness. Alright. It's you. On your back. Who is it you carry? Oh, the girl? I think she may be somebody you know, but...
How is this possible? How did you survive all this time? Leanne, do you know who I am? That's right, you remember my name. Have you been here by yourself all these years? The forest protected her. It kept her asleep for so long. It kept her asleep for so long there's no way to express my gratitude. You there, York. Me? I am Tabarn, King of Phoenicia. Since the loss of the... Actually, double click that. Since their loss, they have, uh, the Herons, I think, were under his protection. Who are you and why do you aid the Herons? My name is Ike. I am commander of the Grail Missionaries. I am under orders of the Empress, the Apostle Sanaki, to protect the Herons. The Empress of this country wants to protect the Herons. Huh! That is an interesting tale. The Herons were blamed for the assassination of the last Empress. They were massacred on heresy. And now their ancestor wants to help them? Touching. The Empress Sanaki knows that the Herons are not murderers. And now she is trying to atone for the crimes of her people. No, I cannot believe that. Pathetic apologies and half-baked platitudes are easily spoken. Humans burn Sir in his forest. They killed my family. I cannot trust the ones who allies with himself with them. Please, withhold judgment until you speak with the Apostle. She's waiting at the forest's edge. The Apostle is here. So you are the Apostle? I am. I am sorry. I am ignorant as to what words of, contri of contrition will be appropriate for one of the Heron tribe, yet I stand before you as a representative of my people. From the depths of my heart, I apologize to you. I am sorry. So truly sorry. Empress Sanaki, what are you doing? You are the apostle. You cannot bend your knee to another. Peace. Let her speak her heart. I... um... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nian? You. What is it you want? Are you telling me to stand? You. Leanne. Leanne, you cannot for ask me to forgive them. You are asleep. You don't know what these humans did to us. You know? That's right, everyone is gone. That's why I can't release my hatred. I understand. That is how you feel. Apostle Sanaki, we accept your apology. We may not be able to release our hatred of hum of Bjork, but you need not let the fate of Serenus Forest trouble you any longer. You are absolved of that guilt. Thank you. That was well done. Yes. My lord Ike, what will happen now? The Heron siblings said there would be some sort of ceremony, but I don't know what that entails. You there, Bureau Commissionaries. Prince Raisin wants all of you to come to the Serenus altar. The presence of Prince Crimea and the Apostle is also requested. Altar? Just come with me. It's this way. Empress Sanaki, Commander Sigrun, let's go. Very well. Let's hurry, Ike. Right.
forest. He's returned. That was excellent. It's so beautiful. The Cernish Forest, beloved of the, of the goddess, is alive once more. You spoke so well earlier, Empress Sanaki. You fill my heart with pride. Here now, none of that. This is no place for tears. I'm sorry, I'm just so happy. Ah, excellent. The gap between Lugus and Bjork has been abridged. Uh, has been bridged. I think this may be enough. Hmm. What's wrong, Soren? You look so grim. What are you looking at? It's nothing. Nothing at all. Wait, Soren, what in the world is wrong with him? Alright, we are finished. My goodness, that was a long one. So, this is where I'm ending it. Uh, this video has gone on for almost two hours and a half. So, whew, chapter 17 it is complete. And up to this point, we still have zero casualties. Um... This kind of marks the halfway point through the, the entire game, so, you know, we're, we're doing really well. Um, I will be honest, it's not that hard to do this without, you know, deaths. Uh, unfortunately, even though this is hard mode, um, they give you a lot of characters that are just really strong, so I'm not surprised I haven't died. But, uh, you know, you never know. I could slip up at any moment, and especially since this is hard mode, I can still die to Ashnard at the very end, and all of this will be have for nothing um he's not leveling the best but hopefully after he gets his transformation we just take off like that right so we'll see what happens but for now that's it thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the chapter 17 four part walkthrough i guess you can say it was very boring actually um but yeah if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button comment down what you guys thought and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay tuned for the next coming episodes as well as other content um what is next next up is the snow missions right so that one's going to be interesting if Rayson died died i don't know if that's actually a thing i think he does come back to us um but we do get Rayson on the next chapter if he is alive uh we also get tanith so that'll be interesting I usually use Tanith because I use Marcia, but since she's dropped, I don't know if I will. We'll see. The Holy Guard will still be useful, though. Um, overall, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.